Okay, so today I'm doing Draw My Life on request by like a bazillion of you. And since I've got English speaking followers who has been asking for an English video since I did Harry Styles in the Snow, I figured this could be in English. Yes, so let's go. My dad is born and raised in England and my mum is half Swede, half Finnish. They met in some country with better climate than Sweden. I think the Canary Islands, maybe. And they fell in love, like typical movie style. Except dad decided to move to Sweden and mom's stomach suddenly started to grow. And nine months later, I was born on the 9th of April, 1994. In other words, I am now 19 years old and not 15, like some of you think. Nor 25, like some others apparently think. But when I was just a few months old, my parents started to notice really strange things going on. I could suddenly, like, kill people with only my vision, like shoot lightning with my eyes, you know? And my mom got really freaked out, but my dad was pretty cool with the whole monster kid thing. During my whole childhood, I always loved to write, but I really started thinking about uh, journalism when I was about 10 years old. So I had my diary, which I wrote in every day. And I uh, cried if I realized I've missed to write one day. And I made all these homemade newspapers and stuff. So one day our local paper here in Gothenburg contacted me and was like, Hey, we've heard about this amazing 10-year-old girl writing fantastic stuff. Do you want to come work with us? But I was like, uh, no, da, I'm still in school, birch. So I just had some lightning struck down in the building and after that they didn't bother me anymore. My 13th birthday was the greatest day of my life. Uh, I woke up when my parents came in to sing in my room. Well, actually, I had been awake since like 5 a.m. But I pretended to wake up when they sang, like everybody does. Why do people even do that? Anyway, and they came into my room with this huge parcel. So I just went wild and tore off all the gift wrapper. And inside was my very own unicorn. No, that that's supposed to be a leg. Okay, never mind. How do you even draw this thing? Bafan, did I mean? Oh, man, oh. Uh, so during my whole childhood, I grew up side by side with my best friend, the uni dinosaur. Eller vad fan jag nu har lyckats rita. I named him Cornelius Papadopoulos, and he turned out to be like really clever and funny. So we hang out every day, and he always made jokes, and I always laughed really hard. One day in December 2011, me and Cornelius Papadopoulos were having a pre-Christmas fika. And suddenly he said, hey, did you know it says Apotek Arne and not uh, Apotekarens on the julmust? And I was like literally blown away because I had never thought about it before. And it was like this complete revelation for me. So the next day, Papadopoulos came to me with a script and I asked him what it was. And he told me it was about the Apotek on a Julmust. And he had this idea that if I recorded it and put it up on YouTube, I could make us famous. So I did. And within a week, we had 10,000 views on the clip. And it just grew bigger and bigger. Because obviously nobody except Cornelius Papadopoulos had ever noticed the Arne in the Julmust. Uh, in a month, almost everybody I knew had seen the Apotheca on a clip and uh, people started requesting more videos. So me and Cornelius Papadopoulos had an uh, uh, agreement. Uh, he would write my vlog scripts and in return I would not sap him to death with my lightning vision. And he was a bit upset at first, yes, but he got over it. So from January 2012, me and Cornelius Papadopoulos have been making vlogs together. He is really the mastermind, and I get all the attention. I think it's pretty fair. I mean, he's a unicorn. Nobody would believe him if he told the truth. But eventually, in some way, people started to find out about this. Some blamed me for taking advantage of my unicorn, so I simply took care of the problem myself and started subbing people. Of course, it's sad I need to kill people, but it's something necessary. And when people far from me, like like that one from Lulio, you remember Cornelius? <coughs> when they begin to be suspicious, I just send Cornelius Papadopoulos galloping to wherever the traitors are to stab the shit out of them with his corn. So, yes, that was completely true fragments of my 19-year-old life up until now. Unfortunately, since I've now let you know the truth... Cornelius! <laughs>